Hey guys, Sean here. Um, this is gonna be kind of a vlog video, and I wanted to put this video out because I read an article on um, yesclash.com. Apparently, uh, apparently they released an article a couple of days ago saying that apparently the DCEU is going to recast the Joker and replace Gerald Leto. Ugh. Some people are saying this is false, but I just wanted this video in, in, the, in the event that this ends up being true. Okay, I call bullshit. Okay, because... Uh, so what? He... Leto came out and said he was displeased with the final cut of a movie. So what? He was completely justified in saying it, especially when, DC, when Warner Brothers pretty much chopped his role to bits pretty much. I mean, the extended job didn't really help much because only added in maybe one flashback scene and a, and a couple bits here and there, but didn't really help his case much. His role is still minor in the movie. But, yeah, considering he filmed a lot more footage that was not even released in the extended cut because I can list off several deleted scenes right now that weren't even put back in the extended cut. But I'm not going to because I don't want to make this video super long, but, yeah. So, the idea of DC Warner Brothers saying, buy a let over and replace you, is bullshit. Because I thought he did, did good for what he was, for the character he was given. I thought he did a great job. And so, if they're just going to replace him, based on the fact that he went all out and said, I think the way they handled my character was unjustified. This is just like they did, what uh, Fox did with Josh Trank in Fan Stick. He came out and said he had a fantastic vision of the movie, and Fox basically fucked him over, and he was fired for it. Which is why I have a feeling David Ayer said the theatrical cut is his director's cut, because he didn't want to get the treatment that Josh Trank did. Ayer, you rolled over him too easily. But just my opinion. But yeah, if this ends up being true... You lost all faith. I've lost all faith in Warner Brothers. Or at least their DC division, because if you guys saw my review for Fantastic Beasts last night, you know I enjoyed the movie. So, DC, you've lost faith in me. Or I've lost faith in you if you decided to replace Leto, because he came out and spoke his, the truth. But yeah. Um... So I think this was very stupid that they're doing this. I mean, I get it. The Joker was not supposed to be the main character in the movie. You know, I understand. But you don't chop the man to bits. That's fucking stupid. Joker has maybe ten minutes of screen time in the entire movie. Like, And that's including the extended cut. Has maybe ten minutes. Because he has maybe two flashback scenes, and then he only has maybe two scenes, two, three scenes in the present day. Like the two flash, or the, oh no, he has like three flashback scenes according to, according to the extended cut now, because you have the scene of where Harley's pretty much, you know, where, okay, you have the scene, spoilers for people who have not seen the, um, the movie, you have the scene where Harley is basically. I guess investigating him or whatever, interrogating him or whatever. Okay, you have the scene where Batman's hunting them down and trying to chase them down or whatever. So that's two flashback scenes right there. You have the scene where Joker basically shocks Harley's brain. That's three. Um, you have the motorcycle chase scene where Harley chases down the Joker on a motorcycle, which is in the extended cut. That's four. And then the fifth scene is when they do the acid. That's the fifth flashback scene, is when they do the acid. Hang on. Cat was scratching on the couch. But yeah, those are the only five bits that he's in the past part. The flashback, the present day scenes is when one of his people go in, he asks where is she, that's one. The part where they're in, where they're, where they break into Wayne, Division of Wayne Corp, that's two. The scene where he's trying to get Harley from the squad, where he 
takes that helicopter. That's three. And then four is when, at the end of the movie, when he breaks Harley out of Belle Reve. So he only appears nine times in this whole movie. And by the marketing, I assume he's going to be the main villain. But nope, we got a boring villain. Anyway, neither here nor there. But yeah, I just don't want to see Leto go, because it's going to suck if he does, because they're going to have to, they would recast the character, blah, 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 blah. And it just won't feel right having them recast the role. Because I want Leto to have another shot of this character because of how unjustified he was, of how unfair he was treated through the movie. I want him to have another shot of this character, like a real shot, not just extended cameo bit. But yeah, please, DC Warner Bros., do not recast this role. Let Leto have another shot at this character. And do him right. And by do him right, I mean not bullshit Leto and say, and like the like the deleted scene says, bye bye. Yeah, don't do that to him. No. And by the way, hi Kitty. But yeah, I just wanted to do this video because this article really annoyed me reading it. So all I can say is, please DC Warner Brothers, do not recast Leto. Let him have another shot at this character. And don't try and cut him out again. That's all I'm saying. Just let him have another shot. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you later.